Hey everybody, this is Dr. Joe Borio with this week's Health Kick. And I want to talk to you about some really interesting research that's been coming out in the last decade. And it certainly plays an enormous role in the day-to-day -day practice of a chiropractor. And it really focuses us on the certainty of what we do for you and your family. And that is the loss of curve in the neck. I'm going to try to splice in a couple of uh, photographs in here. but. But in reality, if you think of your neck, uh, think of it as like a banana. If you have a banana, it has a nice, beautiful arc to it. Scientists call that the arc of life. And why that's important is the inside of your, of your spine, your brain stem and spinal cord, kind of like the consistency of, uh, I'd say, between a banana and jello. It's a little softer than a banana, but a little bit more rigid than jello. But that, that tissue inside your spine, that spinal cord, is like a big telephone wire. It's like your computer cables. It allows your brain to send all that electrical data, all that information to your body, and your body can send all that information back up to your brain. So it's extremely critical. Obviously, you take a guy like Christopher Reeve. Some of us remember Christopher Reeve's story. He fell off a horse and dislocated, really misaligned his spine, so much so that it caused compression of his spinal cord. And, and over the few years he, he essentially died from a massive misalignment of his spine. So that's what basically happens. Now what we're seeing with the research is that as you lose the curve in your spine, you get sicker faster and you die sooner. So what's happening now is we've got a lot of causes for that. We've got birth trauma. Uh, there's a lot more birth trauma than there ever was before. People aren't al being allowed to, to deliver their baby as they did naturally many years ago. So, and I'm not saying there should never be medical intervention, so don't, in, don't uh, confuse what I'm saying, but the general non-complicated pregnancy, which really was, is 98%, uh, where women were allowed to let birth take its own process. We're inducing now, we're using uh, mechanical extraction, either through C-section, vacuum extraction, forceps, and so forth. It's causing a lot of trauma to the neck. So when we read research from the 60s, the 70s, and 80s, we're seeing that the scientists knew that all this birth trauma is causing latent spinal cord injury. So babies are, are, are suffering from misalignment in the spine that led them to have problems many years past. SIDS, a sudden infant death syndrome, just to mention one of them, quite significant. And there was some research that Dr. Tobin did which address that. So very uh, uh, a big concern and certainly a concern for chiropractors because we want to get in there and make sure the spine and nerves are working the way they're supposed to right from birth. And then what we see is we're into this world now where everyone's on a computer. So we have what's called forward head posture, FHP, where we see people leaning forward and they're doing this type of, of work all the time. They're on texting, they're on cell phones, uh, everyone's leaning forward. We take our children now in schools and they're, they're sitting in front of computers. If you go to graduate school or uh, any type of college, now you're sitting there for another four years. Uh, you know, that itself causes a loss of curve in the neck. Very significant. We can take traumas, car accidents, sporting injuries, concussions. All these things cause massive amount of trauma or what chiropractors call subluxation subluxation. That word's very unique to chiropractic like gingivitis is to a dentist or arterial sclerosis is to a cardiologist. So what it does is it subluxates the spine. It causes the spine to move alignment, uh, lose alignment and position, mobility, thereby causing the individual, unfortunately, to become very sick neurologically. So chiropractors aren't really focused on bones, even though we move bones. Our, our concern is the nervous system. So what, what we're seeing now is that when the spinal cord is compressed through subluxation, through misalignment, not, not, not uh, dislocation, not severing the cord, through chronic strain of the cord, we see a loss of normal nerve conductivity, meaning the nerves can't communicate. We see a loss of blood flow to the spinal cord. We see a loss of cerebral spinal fluid, liquid, passing through the cord. And therefore, the spinal cord dies, and therefore, the patient, or you, dies sooner. Now, the way to prevent this would be the exact same way that the dentist talks about you preventing tooth decay, right? So what do they do? Rather than waiting to give 
your teeth rotting, right, which they used to do in the 30s and 40s. Now they say, listen, if we brush, if we floss, if we do fluoride treatments, if we do all these preventative things to your teeth early on, you don't develop the sickness and disease in the first place. So that's what chiropractors say. Listen, rather than waiting until the body gets sick, diseased, ill, and dies later as a result, here's an idea. Get the kids in and let's get them checked. And then every month or so, get in and get the spine checked and get those areas that are subluxated reduced or fully corrected so that the nervous system works better and that you live a long and healthy life neurologically absolutely neurologically it's exciting it's fun and it's healthy and it's natural it's not invasive it's hundred percent safe and that's what chiropractors focus on and I'll tell you the last decade of research as I started talking about is showing that all of these subluxations are really detrimental not only to the health and well-being of individuals and children but to the health and well-being of our society it's really affecting the overall health of our society by these massive subluxations in the spine. So certainly my recommendation is what? Eat well, right? Exercise, uh, um, a good night's sleep, water, positive thoughts. You gotta think good stuff in here. And remember, you, your mother, your father, your grandfather, your coworker, everyone you know, everyone you don't know, tell them about this research, get them to a, a chiropractor, ask people, not do you see a chiropractor, your question everyone should be, Who's your chiropractor? My question to you is, who's your chiropractor? Guys, have a great, healthy week. Take care of yourself. Spend time with your loved ones. Get seven hugs a day. It reduces your heart attack uh, by 50%. And I'll talk to you guys next week.